All right, so we do these rapid fire questions with all the guests we have. It's just five questions, kind of golf related, non golf related. Ricky did them himself a couple months back, so he knows how it is. But uh, first thing that comes to your head, don't overthink it. Uh, up first, <laughs> <laughs> do you like to putt with a line on the ball, or do you just kind of pick a point and roll it over that spot? Uh, I putt, I just pick a point and putt. No line. Simple okay. man. Simple. Uh, <laughs> um, what do you have like a go-to golf ball, either a certain brand or a certain model that you like to use? If, if I'm feeling good about spending the money, I actually really like the TP five X. Okay. Nice. But as far as the ball, I play the most often is uh, the Kirkland signature. <laughs> nice. sure. Classic. He, he likes, he likes the good old clean one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> can't be, can't be having a dirty ball with a clean glove. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I know for sure. What's a TV or movie character that you think that you most relate to? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm not a super big TV or movie guy. Okay. Do I relate to like a uh, ball right at you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm. I really like. This is this is gonna sound so douchey, but I really like Wolf of Wall Street. Like I love, okay. like, I love like money you know, business movies not. like that. You, <laughs> your life right now screams that, right? Like you're you're going out, you're selling, you're creating new. I love it, I love it. Yeah, minus the cocaine and hookers, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. But, but we get the this side of the picture. We're leaving that side of the picture out, right? Yeah. So that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. Are you, uh, do you use a blade or a mallet putter? I use the one, the, the like extra wide blade, the Odyssey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not like a blade, but it's not a mallet. It's like, it's like that, that white hot pro, I think it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, The white hot, like wide or something. Okay. Cool. Nice. If you weren't golfing, if you weren't golfing and you had a free day, what is it that you'd be out doing? I really enjoy the beaches of Chicago. Um, it's just like such a unique experience because you're on a beach, but then you have the city in the background. Lake Michigan's pretty pretty clean and, and <laughs> nice. So yeah, probably probably on the beach. Cool. What's a what's a goal you have for yourself just with your golf game this year? You know, it was break 80 at the beginning of the season, but I haven't been able to get out and play enough. Mm -hmm. um, as far as till the end of the year, I'd like to get my driver driver right again. I used to be able to hit bombs. Like, I'm a pretty tall, long dude, so I can hit it far. But I've, I've been hitting this weird just, like, pop-up drive recently. And so if I can yeah, close out the season, you. getting that dialed back in and, like, feel confident over my driver i feel good going into the winter months and hopefully come out strong next year cool yeah what's maybe a goal you just have for the company like a little, what's next i guess and then the, the rest of this year or going into next year yeah so we're gonna follow up the pga news with some other exciting news so uh okay cool this year was really focused on on uh retail so we, we've done really well direct to consumer um, online the past two and a half years. And so this year I was like, I want to try to knock out all the big guys. Yeah. So um, I don't want to say anything yet because we're still, things are still in the works, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully before the end of the year. We got a big cool announcement, announcement coming, it seems <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah. I love it. But uh, yeah, you know, just keep growing the, growing the brand. Um, I don't know if you've seen our scrub doctor towel, but uh, we basically designed a towel with a built-in scrub brush yeah, on the corner, okay. so it makes it real easy for for groove cleaning on the course, and uh, continue to push that and 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 make that. Uh, it's, it's people don't understand how good it is, and like I think I just need to get it in more people's hands. And what a great product it is, and I'm I'm really proud of that. But I want to see more success with it here. So getting more out about that and, and promoting that more. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if you, um, 
Well, if you listen to that, the Acorn Hills, Nate kind of mentioned how he teamed up with the Mully Box. And I know I've gotten short par four box for a while too. I don't know if you've ever looked into like getting some of those ad placements in there. Cause like they do the clothing stuff, but they also have like golf balls or tees or different accessories like the polish. And again, like you obviously get a lot of repeat customers. Once they try the product, it's, you know, they get kind of hooked to sure, it. Sure. Yeah. Um, I should, I should not be like, yeah. But I, again, I think just having it in the stores too is going to be huge. Cause I mean, like you said, if it's at checkout at PGA Superstore, people are going to see that. And it's like, you know, it's like buying a pack of gum or, or something like that, or a sleeve of balls. It's like, why not? You know, you, they, they're yeah. probably buying a $300, $400 driver. You know, why not have some polish exactly. to keep it clean? 100%. I feel like there's so many customers that are hard to reach online in the golf space specifically because of, you know, there are a lot of older, older people that play golf. And so I'm sure there's all of those guys that, they retired, they're going to the PGA every once a week. And so I feel like there's a whole untapped audience that uh, I'll be able to read. Yeah, for sure. And I think it helps too. Like, like I didn't really know what to expect getting it, but it's like, it, it comes and it's like a legit bottle. Like it's like, it's not like some little cheap spray bottle thing. You know what I mean? So like you see it selling, is it like in a box or is it like this kind of in the stores? So we're only selling the kits in stores. Gotcha. So the kits come. It's got like the uh-huh. cleaner, but, the grip cleaner, and then the brush and towel. And the pop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then it like it sits nicely on the shelf. Yeah. Cool. Real quick then, like where can people kind of find more about the company, like your website, social media, anything like that? Yeah, so Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Club Doctor Golf you'll be able to find us um, and then in PJ Superstore. And then if you're out West, we're also in Shields. Cool. Kind of a Dex equivalent retailer. Gotcha. There. I really appreciate you having me on. Uh, I think this is a cool thing you guys got going. And I always love, love doing golf podcasts. Great for the sport and what to build communities like this. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, everyone that's listening to this, we're going to have the link uh, in the description on the youtube videos you'll be able to find it right on any of the streaming platforms so you can check them out clubdoctorgolf.com and uh go check out some of their products appreciate it awesome well thank thanks for guys. taking the time adam we really appreciate it thanks adam of course thank you thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one